Hello, my name is Kelly Anton, PLC Training Instructor with PCC. In this lesson, I'm going to use the Calculate Instruction to combine multiple math operations. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the main program block, which is OB1. And I'm just minimizing Network 4 from a previous example. Then I'm going to go over to the Basic Instructions and select Math Functions. And then I'm going to drag the Calculate Instruction into the Ladder Editor. This allows us to do freeform math operations. I'm going to change my zoom level just to make it a little bit easier to see. So there's multiple input parameters. So I'm going to type a letter I here, and I'm going to just select an integer tag, the int num1 tag. Then I'm going to type a letter R for the int2 parameter, so I can pick one of my real tags, which is real num1. I'm going to move over to the output parameter, and I am going to type an I, and I'm going to pick my integer result tag. The Calculate instruction is set up for integer math. I am going to select the Calculator button to open up the Edit Calculate Instruction dialog. Here, with the integer data type selected, it shows you additional instructions that are available for the integer data type. In the Out area is where you can enter in your expression for the Calculate instruction. So I'm going to enter in N1 plus N2, and then I'm going to divide that. And if I try putting in a constant, I can't here. So, but what I can do is put in an N3 parameter that does not already exist in the instruction. And then when I select OK, it will add that parameter into the instruction. And here's where I can enter in my constant value. So based on doing integer math, you will see that a real number is going to be tried to be converted into an integer. Now I will change the integer data type to a real data type, and you will see that the boxes on the pins for implicit data type conversion will change. So now when I edit the calculated instruction based on the real data type, I will have additional instructions available that can be used in my expression. So now implicit conversion from int to real does not result in any data loss on the in parameter. Now I'm going to change the out parameter from an integer to a real tag. Now there will be no data loss on the output. Next, I'm going to highlight my Program Blocks folder and download into the PLC. So now load the program in. And then I will go up and start monitoring. Now I will right-click on the N1 parameter and modify the operand and enter in an integer value of 10. So now I've got 10 plus 0 divided by 2 equals 5. So I'll right-click on the N2 parameter and I'll modify the operand and I'm going to enter in a real value of 2.2. So now I will have 10 plus 2.2 divided by 2 gives me a result of 6.1. So I'm doing integer and real math together with the calculate instruction. So now I will go offline, and this concludes the lesson using the calculate instruction.